Give me water. Bring it up from the ground. Cool, clean water. There's enough to go around. Be cave driven. Give me water. Be cave driven. Give me water. Give me water. Bring it up from the ground. Cool, clean water. There's enough to go around. Be cave driven. Give me water. Be cave driven. Give me water. Hi, I'm Jim Blair, president of Bee Cave Drilling. Today we're out in beautiful Liberty Hill, Texas. And uh, we're just going to drill a water well here. Wanted to stop and show you this. We've got uh, Steve and Michael and Rick out here with a 30K deep hole package from Speedstar out. And we're going to drill a Glen Rose well. I'll get out of the way and let these guys get started. So this is the surface bit that we use to drill this hole. This is an 8 inch down hole hammer and this is a hammer bit. This part here is kind of like a jackhammer. It makes this bit travel up and down and pulverize the rock. The air that's coming out of it lifts that rock out of the hole and blows it out here on the ground. The main bit that we'll use to drill this well will be this 6 and 3 quarter inch PDC bit. It's a diamond drill bit that just drills with a scraping action. All right, do your thing. All right, so here the guys are setting the diverter. It's a piece of 10 inch steel pipe that we're gonna shove in the ground. And basically all it does is catch those drilling cuttings as they're coming up the hall and blow them out of hose out the side. So it keeps them clean and safe. And we can blow those cuttings anywhere you want them. Okay, so you can see here's our six and three quarter inch PDC drill bit. We've got it screwed into a piece of drill stem that we call a stabilizer. It's got ribs on the side of it, and these the outside diameter of this is about a quarter of an inch less than the outside diameter of this. This pipe is 10 foot long, and what that does is it keeps the hole straight. If we go through a small void or something, this bit will want to dodge over to the side. But these ribs up here are following that hole that we've already drilled, won't let it dodge off to the side. So we're showing you now that we're blowing our drilling cuttings out through this buoy line, out through the diverter. We're, they're dry right now, but we can come over, we can get a sample of them, see what they look like. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit dusty right now. If this is too much of a problem on your site, we could put on a bag that contains all those cuttings, keeps the dust down, so it looks a lot better. We're down to about 430 feet right now, and it's making about seven gallons a minute. We're just into the top of the zone. We're gonna go a little deeper, see if we can get a little more production out of it. All right, so we got the well drilled down now. We're at 470 feet. We got a little few more feet to drill. It's making 20, 25 gallons a minute. You can see that blowing out here. I wanted to show you some of the cuttings. This is the production zone. It looks like a quartz, kind of a rock. It's limestone based, but that drill bit is chewed it right up. Got us some good water. Okay, so we've got the well drilled now. We're down to 480 feet. The guys are doing a bucket test on it. We just did a few of them. Every time it takes about 15 seconds to fill that bucket, which comes out to be about 20 gallons a minute. It's a good strong well, starting to clean up. 
In a little bit, we're going to pull the drill stem, put the casing in the hole. All right, so we just did a little shutdown. We got the well cleaned out. We let the well recover uh, for about five minutes. So this big slug of water we're fixing to get is all the water that it produced while we were shut down. It's a good indication it's a good, strong well. One of the things we like to do here at Bee Cave Drilling is test the quality of the water in each zone that we hit. We use a TDS meter here like this one, and what it does is it measures the total dissolved solids, basically everything that's dissolved in the water. We pour the sample of water into the cup, and it has little electrodes in there, and when I push the button, it sends electricity through the water. See how well it conducts electricity. You can see this water is testing at about 510 TDS. What this allows us to do is to determine if some areas have bad water and maybe you have deeper water that's better water, we can cement off, seal off certain zones to give you the good water. We don't have to worry about that on this well. This is 500 TDS. This is great water. This is better than most city water in most areas. As you can see here, the guys are pulling the drill stem out of the well. They're pulling it apart, putting the caps on it, laying it down in the rod box there. When we get all of that out, we'll put the casing in the hole. Okay, okay so first joint going in, casing. We're going to put this uh, perforated casing in. This is going to let the water in. We're going to have a couple of joints of that perforated casing. Let that water in down where the production zone is. Okay, so the first couple of joints that we run in are this perforated casing. You see the holes we've drilled in it here. We'll run that in on the bottom down where the production is, let all the water in. The casing above that will all be solid. So now the guys have got the uh, perforated casing down in the well. Now we're going to install what we call packers. They're a seal on the outside of the casing that seals between the casing and the borehole wall. We put them down just above the production zone to stop any clay and any sand, any bad water from migrating down the outside of the casing and getting down into our production zone.
You can see these guys have built two packers. We like to double up, just make sure we got a good seal. Uh, they've got burlap there that we put above that packer. It just helps to catch any fine sediment that might be trying to migrate down the hole and helps pack or seal. You can see the packer here, it's just a rubber boot that um, it has got a groove here for a stainless steel band. We use a banding tool with a stainless steel band on there to make sure that that's not going to deteriorate over time. We don't want this well failing. You can see that this, this uh, rubber is kind of flexible. Um, it's a little bit bigger diameter than the hole we drilled. It's actually seven inches. We drilled a six and three quarter inch hole and that's going to assure that that is, gives us a really good tight seal against the formation down there. Well, the guys have done it. They put all the casing in the hole. This is the last joint going in right now. One of the things that we like to do at BK Drilling is case all of our wells all the way to the bottom as best we can. We don't want to get that pump down below the casing, get it hung up in a cave or in a formation or hang ball on the bottom of the casing. We want it to go all the way to the bottom, set the casing down in the bottom hole just like that. Now we're going to rig, rig down, move the rig off the site, and we're going to cement this well. We've got those packers we put on the casing 50 foot down and that's going to capture this, catch this cement that we're going to pour in the hole. This cement's job is to seal the casing to the borehole wall so to prevent any contamination from getting in, contaminating your water. So here the guys are, they're cementing this well. What they're pouring in there is just Portland. Portland and water. They mix it in this barrel, pour it down the hole. We don't use any sand, any gravel in this. It's called neat cement, required by the state. We put 50 foot of it in there. The state only requires we do 20 feet, but we like to do a little extra. Thank you for watching this video on the completion of a private well system. I hope that you saw our pride and attention to the detail that we take in building you a private water system. Check out our website or our YouTube channel to see other videos on how we complete a private well system. Maybe we can come build one of these for you someday. Give me water, bring it up from the ground. Cool, clean water, there's enough to go around. Be cave driven. Give me water. Give me water.